Hey guys, hope you're alright. Hope everyone's well. As you can tell by the title of the video today, I'm going to finally do my do my favourites foundation video. It's going to feature all the different types of foundations I have. Then I'm obviously going to dwell on those that are my favourites or that I love. Yeah, I hope this video obviously helps someone if you're looking to purchase any of these foundations that I'm going to obviously talk about in the video. So often I get asked what is the best foundation to use or the best foundation in the world and my answer normally is there's no such thing as the best foundation because people wear foundations for different reasons what one person may want a foundation to do may be totally different to what another person may want their foundation or why they may wear foundation so there's no such thing it all comes down to why you're wearing the foundation or what's your skin type and what finish you would obviously want there's some that's dry off as a matte finish, there's some that dry off as a dewy finish, there's some that are light, there's some that's high coverage, some that's low coverage, so there's so many different things evolved with foundations that you have to obviously bear in mind when choosing your foundation or one that will suit you best. See a wide range of different skin tones and skin colours, so sometimes it can be hard and quite tricky with choosing the right shade to fit your skin tone or skin colour. So normally I always say it's best to go for a tester. If you go to the shop sometimes, you, for instance, if you go to MAC and you're not sure what colour you want to get, do you ask for a tester and that way you can take it home outside in natural light and see which colour, which shade suits you best. And so if you buy a foundation, trying it on, wearing it so many times for you to later take pictures and see that it's not your colour. So the first foundations I'm going to show you are actually going to be MAC foundations because I think those are the most talked about makeup products that I what comes to mind anyways when I think of makeup. So I'm going to start with my MAC and I'm going to go to on to a different brand and so on and so forth. So I just wanted to say this before I go on to start speaking to you about MAC. Dear all MAC workers, all dark skinned ladies are not an NW45. I just feel like any single time you walk into MAC, any time you're a dark skinned lady, they just automatically just throw a double 45 at you and it's like how can me and my friend who's like three shades lighter than me be an nw 45 it's not possible dark skin people come in different shades we're not all one color am i the only one that's experienced this if you have experienced that mac workers always tend to give all of us the same shade leave your angry experience down below and let me know what it was but anyways foundation that I'm going to show you which was actually my first ever foundation that I purchased and this is actually the same bottle it's not finished is the MAC Studio Fix and this unsurprisingly is in the shade NW45 I think it was about 20 pounds something I'm not too sure I will link it down below and it did not come with this pump on top this had to be bought separately in order for you to use it if not you're going to have just pour it onto your palm which can be quite messy unhygienic especially if you're going to be using that foundation for different people i would consider this more or less a matte finish and it is medium to high coverage it's a foundation that's good for covering blemishes this will be good because it will hide it the only thing i didn't like about this i know some people describe it as oil free but during the day i found my face looked like a sweat box it just looked oily and after a while I felt it did oxidise on me. I found my face looked quite orange and you could obviously see I was wearing foundation which I don't like. Good foundation. However with me personally I found that the Studio Fix made my face look quite oily. So you should definitely have your pressed powder near you if you do want to use this foundation. I know some people have complained that it's broke out their skin. Everyone is different. With me personally it did not break out my skin. My skin was fine. The next foundation which I have got from MAC is actually called the Pro Long Wear Foundation and this one as you can see comes with the pump and this one is in the shade NC50 and for those that ask I feel like an NC50 looks better on my skin than the NW45. The colour that I always tend to get is NC50. So with the Pro Long Wear it's quite creamy in comparison to the Studio Fix. I personally would say this is high coverage. This is the type of foundation that you feel that you're wearing foundation. It feels quite heavy. However, it's good with obviously covering scars and blemishes. I also felt with the prolonged wear, this tends to last the whole day. 
how my makeup looked in the morning it was exactly how it looked like when I was about to sleep before obviously taking off my makeup so this is really good if you're looking for a high coverage foundation that's going to cover everything and have a flawless finish I would say the Pro Long Wear it's easy to apply as I say it's quite thick so if you don't like that feeling of I'm wearing foundation I would say just stay away from Pro Long Wear the next foundation by MAC is called the Face and Body now this is a water-based foundation, so it's very, very light, very low coverage. I don't know if you say low or light. Very low, light coverage. It has a dewy finish, so it looks like you're hardly wearing any makeup. It looks very young and fresh on your skin. So if you're a person that likes to wear foundation that feels like you're not wearing anything on, and it just looks natural, and you don't want it to cover blemishes, but you just want it just to add some oomph to your skin I would say the face and body however the thing that I don't like about this is I found it hard to find the right shade because the shades are limited they don't do an NW or NC this one is actually or I was given the C7 the shade above was way too dark on me and this one is a tiny bit light for me so I have to obviously put on powder afterwards for it to look okay so you can probably hear it just feels like you're putting water on your face. Anytime I wear this, I actually forget I even have on any makeup and I'm jumping bed, I'm like, oh my god, I have foundation on. Time to take it off with the wipes. So this is a really nice foundation. I do like it, however, as I said, the colours are limited, so do make sure you test it out and see you're going to get the right, right shade. Most people don't recommend this for oily skin, but personally, I think after putting it on with powder, you've powdered your face most of the day, it can be fine. So there, that's it. And this actually is a quite a big tub com compared to the rest, so you're getting quite a lot. It will last you a really, really long time. The next foundation is called the Match Master Foundation, and this is also by MAC, as you can see. Now, this foundation is, is quite big. It looks similar to that of the Pro Long Wear container but it's bigger than it this foundation feels really really nice on the skin it has a flawless finish I would say this is medium to buildable coverage I was given the wrong shade now this is way too dark for me and um, I was given the shade 8.5 however I've been told I'm an 8.0 so I would say with this foundation make sure you check that you're getting the right shade because it can be quite tricky because some of them are quite similar this is not an NWNC kind of foundation. I'd say this lasts a really long time, high coverage, so it is a foundation to cover blemishes if needed. Also, it does feel like you're wearing foundation, similar to the Pro Long Wear, so it felt quite heavy on my skin. That's the only thing I would say I didn't like about it. However, if you do like that and that's not an issue, then you obviously go for this. Yeah, it's got SPF 15, as some of the other ones and it's quite big and would obviously last a long time. I think that's my thoughts about this. So my last MAC foundation that I have is called the Studio Tech Foundation, which is actually in like a compact case like this. And this is in the shade NC50. Originally I had the NW43 because the NC, the NW45 was way too dark. This is how it looks like. It comes with the mirror on top and it comes with the sponge and then obviously the foundation in the middle. With this one, it's really creamy and definitely a high coverage. If you don't like liquid foundations and you want a foundation that has high coverage and will last you a long time, I would say Studio Tech. However, it does feel quite heavy. So putting this on, it glides on really smoothly. When I wore this, it did last the whole day. It did cover blemishes as well. And it was okay for my skin, either that had oily skin, I found it okay. Most of the times while I was using it, I did often spray my sponge with Fix Plus whenever I thought that it was too creamy and did use that to apply on my face. Um, so yeah, this is a nice foundation if you didn't want to get um, a liquid one. And I often get asked about MAC foundations, what is an NW and what is an NC. From my knowledge, I know an NC is for those that have cool tones and an NW for those with warmer tones. How I've translated it or how I best understand it on people of colour are and NCs are for the yellow undertone people and NWs are for more the orange deeper 
undertone people that's how I describe it personally when I take off my makeup I seem to have a yellow toned that's why I think the NT looks better on my skin than the NW where sometimes when the NW's oxidizes it tends to look quite orangey and cakey on my face so that's my MAC foundation foundation I'm going to show you is the NARS Sheer Matte Foundation. I've been told is for oily skin whereas the Sheer Glow is the one for those with dry skin tones. I'm in the shade New Orleans. That's actually what I'm wearing on today on my face. It's I would describe it as medium to high coverage. It's good with covering blemishes. This lasts a long day. It's easy to apply and to get onto your face. It's really nice. It's definitely one of my top three. Um, it's quite pricey as it's NARS. What I don't like about this foundation is it doesn't come with a pump, so you're going, you're going to have to pour it onto your palm to test it out. I know you can purchase this from Selfridges or you can get this online, but I would say go to places like Selfridges where they stock it and obviously choose or test out different shades to get the right foundation for you. Skin is what I'm wearing now. It gives me a nice dewy finish. I don't feel oily during the day, which I do like. The foundation doesn't oxidize on my face as the day goes by. So it's really nice. I definitely do like this foundation. Two foundations I'm going to talk to you about are for Makeup Forever. So this first one is called the Makeup Forever HD foundation also known as the high definition foundation I bought it in the shade 178 which is slightly a little bit too dark for me so if I was white skin I would get it in the shade 177 so with the HD foundation this feels quite moisturizing on the skin which I do like I would describe it as a medium to high coverage foundation the thing that I would say I didn't like is when I use this after a while my face felt oily so I had to also use my powder to, to control the oils however it does have a nice finish on the skin it has a dewy looking finish it comes with a pump when you obviously take it off you can see the pump which obviously is good in the UK it's quite hard to get this foundation I just did in purchasing this foundation I'll leave a site where you can purchase it in the UK down below this video yeah so it is nice but out of the makeup for a foundation that I've tried I prefer the other one which is the matte velvet in comparison to this one because I just felt oily while using this one however it does have a nice dewy finish when you do apply it on the skin and it's not too heavy this one that I wanted to show you is also by makeup forever and this is called the matte velvet foundation and I am in the shade 75 as most of you already know this is my favorite foundation in the whole wide world simply because I just like the way it finishes on my skin it's a dewy natural looking finish it's not too heavy I'm not one that likes foundations that feel really heavy and really cakey on the skin which with this one I don't have that feeling it spreads evenly on my skin the other thing about this is whilst applying it on your face it does dry quickly so it's best I would say to put it on your palm and do probably one side first then the other side or be quite fast with applying it otherwise it will dry it's hard to blend out it quickly as it's oil free however in all in all i would say it's really nice because it does make me feel oily i like the color it's not too orange and it's not too yellow like i said it's hard to purchase this in the uk so it's best you do try and find somewhere where they sell it and go in store and try it on i don't think there's anything else that i can say it's just my number one and I just love this and I just need to stock up on it. The next foundation is actually by Revlon and it actually came with a cover with the top which I can't find and you can see it comes with a pump and I got the shade Cappuccino and it's called the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation and it's quite good, it's, it's a nice foundation. I would describe it as a medium to full coverage which can be buildable. I find this quite similar to the Studio Fix. It looks nice on the skin, however after a while it makes me look quite orange. I didn't like that obviously, but the, as a foundation in general it is quite nice. It does cover up blemishes if that's what your aim or purpose is for choosing a foundation. However, 
I would say the colors can be a bit tricky. It doesn't have a wide range of colors. That's just from what my experience. So do be sure or do test out that you're getting the right color foundation if you're going to get the Revlon photo ready. Yeah, it's this is in the shade Cappuccino, which I said is a little bit dark for me, I would say. However, I just mix it with a lighter concealer for it to look more wearable. I do feel or oh, I can feel that I'm wearing some kind of foundation with this because it's obviously not light. So that's my thoughts about the Revlon. The next one that I got is actually Tinted Moisturiser and this is by e.l.f. And it just says Tinted Moisturiser SPF 20. I'm in the shade Espresso. I just opted for the darkest one. The thing about this is it's quite um, light, obviously because it's tinted moisturiser. Tinted moisturisers are best for those that have really good skin or really clear skin. Normally if you have acne scars and or blemishes, when you tend to put on the tinted moisturiser, it will not cover it up. So that's the thing about the tinted moisturiser. With this one in particular, I thought that if, if I did not shake it, it, seem, it seems to be a bit pasty and quite sticky. So I didn't like the feeling on it. However, when I used or mixed it with a moisturiser, it felt better, but without the moisturiser, it was quite sticky and I wasn't really too fond of this. So this, personally, was a no-no. Um, however, it's cheap, it's affordable. If it's just something for maybe in the summer, you just wanted something for an even skin tone, maybe do check it out. But all in general, I wasn't too impressed with this foundation or this tinted moisturiser. The last one is from Iman and this is called the Second to None Luminous Foundation and I was in the shade Earth 2. It comes with the mirror, it comes with the foundation and then it comes with the sponge. So this is the powdered foundation. Um, with this one I was really excited because of I've seen reviews on it and I've seen how it applied on some models. However, I did not like this on my skin because it had too many sparkly particles where it just looked like I had dip my face in some glitter or something. I had too many shiny particles, so I think I would like to use it as a highlighter, not so much as a foundation, because if you have scars or you have blemishes on your skin, on your skin, all it's going to do is bring attention and shine light onto those imperfections. So I would not suggest you getting this if you don't have clear skin. However, I wouldn't even suggest or recommend this in general because it just looks like I said, you've put oil on your skin. If you're asking which are my top three foundations, it has to be these three. It will have to be the Makeup Forever Foundation will be number one. Number two will be the Sheer Matte Foundation. And then my third one will have to be the Match Master by MAC. So these are my top three foundations that I like. So lastly, with all my foundations, as I have... I have oily skin I always like to put on a powder afterwards for the foundation to set and I always use the mineralized skin finish by MAC and I am in the shade deep dark and as you can see I've hit pan depending on your skin tone would determine the shade you get and I'm in the shade deep dark some people have told me they think I'm in the shade dark but I just opted for deep dark I normally always run to the darkest things when it comes to foundations so that's what I use the second one that I use is by Inglot. I don't know what colour it is, but once again, I opted for the darkest shade and just use that. So these are the two things that I used to apply my foundation, either the Beauty Blender or the e.l.f. powder brush. Yes, I hope you found this helpful and I broke it down. It was easy for you to understand and hopefully I made it easy if you're looking for a foundation or you liked any of these foundations and you wanted to know my opinion or thoughts about it. Lastly, I would want to say, if any company is watching this and you're a high-end product and you do make foundations, please do consider making some for us dark skin ladies too, because we do exist. And it's not fair or it's quite bizarre that sometimes you don't consider making some, some shades for us too. Sometimes you just want to try a different foundation that you hear other people rave or talk about, but then you go in there and you're disappointed because they don't even have your skin tone or the darkest shade is that of a colour like Beyonce which is obviously way too light for someone like me. So I hope you found this video helpful and if you did find it helpful, you did like it, do thumbs up as always and I shall speak to you guys later. I hope you have a good day.